The livestock will also need grain. In Devon, farmers would have used granite troughs to keep the feed off the ground and prevent it being contaminated by animal excrement. In Edwardian times, they were hand-carved by the inmates of Dartmoor Prison. Peter's come to see stonemason Ian Piper at a quarry on Bodmin Moor. Hello, Peter. Hi, Ian. How are you? Nice to meet you. You too. You thank too. You too. Thank you. Very well, thank okay. you. The first job is to choose a suitable piece of granite. I mean, you didn't want it too large, did you? No, not too large. So, I mean, what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to cut it down through there. So we're going to drill holes right around there and down that side and slid it down. Ian's using an Edwardian pneumatic crane to lift the granite block from the quarry. It's a tense moment. This crane hasn't been used in half a century. Now the stone must be cut down to size. And this is one of the hardest rocks in the world and it is one of the most amazing building materials. But there is a grain in it, so you can't just chop it any way. It's going to be quite interesting to see how they do this. Granite is by drilling a series of holes by hand. This is the hand drill? This is the hand drill. Right. You think that's all they had to do it with? Like they had to drill holes around like that by hand? How far does that have to go in? You want to go down about three and a half, four inches. Three and a half, four inches. It's a fair old way. Yeah. Imagine coming to work and having to do that all day long. Yeah, I know. And the chaps doing that all day long. Yeah. Hard life. They were hard men, there was no yeah. debate it. I reckon uh, you should give them a break. It's time for Peter to try his hand at drilling granite. Apparently you get used to hitting your thumbs. Oh man, that is an absolute killer. <laughs> Just doing that, my lord. With a cold hand as well. With the professionals back on the job within an hour, the holes are drilled. Now the stone can be split. That's the, what we call the plug, plugs and feathers. Plugs and feathers. So it's obviously as you drive those, it'll split the stone out. You just keep hitting them. Yeah, one after the other. Yeah. yeah. This is the most critical part of the whole procedure. A clean break is essential, but they've got one chance to get it right. That's it. He's, he's gone down there. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, that's excellent. With the granite block cut to size now, they can hollow it out to make the trough. It's a job that will take days. Do you reckon a sort of farmer would have been able to split his own granite stone? No. No. Farmers we know in Boulder do it. Or it from milk on a cow, but not, not <laughs> splitting granite. <laughs> A week's passed since Peter commissioned the granite trough. He's returning to the quarry to see how they've got on. Is it taking a long time? A lot of work? About a week. Right. A week and a half. Fair old time. Yeah. yeah. So you're talking a lot of hours gone into it. Yeah. That is a work of art. One, two, three. Now Alex and Peter can deliver it to their flock of sheep. Yeah, I think you've got the short straw here. Well, anything but lift it, mate. It's... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so, what do you think of the trough, then? Well, <laughs> I have to admit, when I first saw it, I thought, that's not a trough, Peter, that's a bird bath. <laughs> but in fact, it's, uh, it's heavier than me, so I'm already learning to respect it. Now, we could just put the feed on the ground. The danger is you're putting hard feed on the ground is that they come into contact with their own droppings. 
and the droppings can carry worms. The worms get inside the stomach, start eating the food away, and then your, your animals will basically they become emaciated, and with winter setting in, they'll die. So the trough is critical for hard feeding. Woo! There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> First, I was really sceptical about uh, Peter's uh, granite trough endeavours, but um, I have to admit, it's, uh, it's the ideal trough to feed your animals from the field. It's, it's heavy weight, so they're not going to knock it over. It's going to be there for decades. So yeah, all in all, I think that was a good idea.